last string we um, we're making a few little changes to our character forms because we recently um, got all the characters so far the community characters put into the law bible it's all done now so everyone's there you got to just click the read more section to find them that'll take you to the world anvil law bible and as i was like doing those updates to the profiles i realized that um you know we needed to make a few changes because we used to have playable character major npc and minor npc so we've merged npc now so we spent last stream um making the form the character form for npc even better so we can look at that here we've got some stuff written but before we read that we'll just look so yeah we we uh we've added way more things to this list we never really had this question before in all honesty we sort of had it but it was a very basic version um so it's uh we've just um expanded on that and chat was really awesome coming up with some really cool unique um ideas for what what npcs could be and yeah the the drop down menu doesn't show up on stream for you all so you'll have to look yourselves on the website exclamation mark project that's the command um so yeah i don't know how many there are there's quite a few a few dozen i'd say on that list so you guys have got a lot more inspiration now and ideas than before for your npcs um and i did update the form a few little little few little changes tiny changes um we've added neutral now to you used to just be ally or antagonist but now we've got neutral um the 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 uh character forms that were already done already submitted by in the past i've amended for the ones that i felt were more neutral because there was about two or three npcs or but we already did that was way more neutral than ally um, we've added non-binary to gender um what else have we done what else have we done i don't think there's really many changes other than that i just changed the order of some of the questions um so that it's way easier for me to fill in oh i added another um character name box a second choice only there like as in case in case like say one of you already give username already been taken because i'm i don't want to have any confusion i don't want us to have two jacks or two rexes or two uh as real so, you know it just get confusing knowing who we're talking about whether it's during the development on streams or in the game it's just a bit confusing that way so really we just want every npc to have a different name from each other um and uh, I mean that is likely not going to be an issue because I'm sure no one's going to pick this. We've only got a small. We've only got thirty something uh, characters, community characters so far. So I doubt someone's going to pick the same name as one of those. But as we get more and more over time, there's always that chance. So it just saves a bit of a bit of hassle there. Hi Nungi, how you doing? It's so good to see you. How are you? having a good wednesday and <laughs> Ashfield, the rest of them yeah exactly as like if someone <laughs> actually typed it i doubt it because as not the most common of names but we do have um like if we look at our uh, character submissions so far there are a couple of names that are a little bit more common like jack john um maybe a few of us and there's always a chance someone out there could choose those names again so if that ever happens i'd just pick their second choice because i don't want us to have like loads of npcs with the same names that's when things start getting confusing um for us all we're like not that jack that jack so um how you doing my young gay beautiful emotes by the way it's late a late one for you on the streaming I go lurky while I go to sleep. I hope everyone have a great day. Yeah, thanks for stopping in. Considering it's so late for you, I appreciate coming in and saying hi. Um, oh yeah, and what the also other thing we did was we added 
the question at the top, do you have a thousand round drops from the Twitch channel? Yes, congrats, feel free to fill in the form below or no, please join our Twitch channel to collect a thousand round drops. So I, we put, I put that there because there has been an occasion where people have filled in the form that haven't got the to a thousand round drops. This way it's pretty clear if it's an actual question. I mean I thought it was clear anyway having that but people don't always read so having that there serves out that happening. Um, but of course they can still fill it in even if they click no because unfortunately the forms aren't that intelligent to like lock the forms up if you press no. I think it's possible to do that but you need a pro um, membership to the plugin and I'm not going to be doing that so um, especially as I've just splashed out on a world anvil uh, membership upgrade um, so that'll do. I, mean, I think I'm alright with how, how all this is. Uh, so yes, um, just a little, there's a bit more clarity now, the differences between, because before people were like, what's the difference between major and minor and PC, and really, there isn't a difference, <laughs> in all honesty, so I thought might as well just merge it in one, um, just easier, and, uh, and be sure, and I've written some little, little bits and bobs here that I thought were super important, Bit more clarity because it tends to be often be questions about the characters and misunderstandings happen as well so having it all here in small text um, prevent that from happening either now or in the future i'm not here hi drake how are you doing it's good to see you so guys if you do want to read these i mean i'm i'm not sure if it's large enough for you all to see on the stream but if you go on the website you'll be able to see yourselves um sometimes i zoom in but it can kind of mess the everything up when i zoom in on the other tab sometimes so uh okay my goodness you're getting now there you go so i'll read these rules out and guys and talk about them so raindrop chronicles is crafted carefully with a huge amount of love and attention to detail so please be mindful that your character may not appear until a future episode that's our first bullet point guys because um i want to cover my back i don't want people thinking oh is that a moth go away <laughs> yeah i don't want people thinking that you know when they've created their character they're gonna we're gonna meet them immediately or even anytime soon during the game and in the streams i mean your profile will be added to the the world anvil um codex of course um as as with every everyone is there and the character will just sit there for the time being while we while we're working on the game until there's a, a really appropriate time for them to uh to come to be, be inserted into the game and um there's a community thoughts and ideas section on every single character's profile so there's the opportunity there for us as a community to come up with some really intriguing ideas about each character um over the months and years you know as we develop the episodes um not every not every character is gonna we're gonna meet in episode one of course there'll only be a small handful of the submissions that probably will be in episode one um they'll they'll each come gradually we'll meet everybody slowly and uh, do things properly um need to get about 10 times more to get a character yeah you do and uh it's a grind it is indeed a grind because it's a special thing to get you know um, you can flesh out, this is the second bullet point now, you can flesh out your character's backstory as much or as little as you want and contribute to how they will respond to situations during stream if you wish. However, we the community are ultimately in control of their story and arc and fate. Because there was one occasion, well maybe more than one occasion, when um, people have come to streams and felt really guilty, felt really bad because they've not been around the be busy and stuff and they've like said yeah maybe you should 
take my character out of the game because I feel really bad because I'm not here in the streams and I'm like, no, because uh, it doesn't work like that, you know, we once your character's been submitted, it's our character, it's our character, mine and the community's to, to shape um, and, uh, and develop, you know. Um, We've got control of them at the point, you're just creating them. But doesn't mean you don't have a say about them. Like I've said, you're free to flesh them out however much or as little as you wish. If you want to give them a backstory, really, you know, go into a bit of detail, you're free to do that as long as it doesn't clash with our law. Um, and uh, of course, you can come in streams and be like, tell us about them and help. Uh, write their dialogue and behaviour and all those sort of things during streams if you are here and want to hang out of course but it's not like forced it's it's all up all that sort of stuff is optional so uh you know there's always going to be people that come and go and uh, those characters aren't going to get chucked out of the game just because someone's not been in the community for years because they're characters that we're proud of, they're creative and awesome, and us as the community, we're gonna make them awesome. Um, and uh, third bullet point, um, you are allowed to base the character on yourself. If you prefer them not to be you, it's encouraged that you make an original character. Names considered copyright will be changed. So, yeah, I think it's pretty like straightforward from the start that you can make yourself as a character, but I want to make that clear because a few, my, probably over half of the submissions have been the actual named after the actual person who submitted it. Um, other people have made set characters that aren't themselves, have made completely uh, random NPC, and that's fine if it's an original character. Um, we don't. What well, I don't want to get in trouble. Um, by other game studios by using their terms and names um, not even saying they'll ever find me or find out but to save myself the hassle and risk it's safer not to um, and that doesn't just go for other game character names and terms either that goes for movies and general large franchises um, like you can't call your character Daenerys Targaryen or anything like that because it's just not a smart idea. Um, so I feel like that bullet point was a, a good one to put. Um, and uh, we got two more. And the other one, we, we have the right to refuse or change a submission if it is offensive or conflicts with the character story law already set in stone. So if you, if someone in the community um, submits a character and it's kind of offensive, a bit racist or um, ableist or um, just generally something that could cause offence to not just me but other people too, I will either like be like, we need a different submission or change the bits that I feel could be offensive or just remove them and keep everything else there about the character. That's not been a real problem so far because everyone here is awesome, but it's there for precaution. Um, and uh, obviously the part about conflicts with the character story and Laura Red sense so we can't have characters that we there's always the risk of that happening especially if someone who's submitted a character hasn't read the current character profiles or read the story so far videos so of course i encourage you guys to actually read through the law bible and get to know the game and world a bit before submitting a character because you're more likely to create a creative character that really neatly fits into what we're building it's not like essential you're allowed to create something new and something a bit more out there that doesn't link with what we've done of course as long as it doesn't clash um, for example we can't have someone submit to someone down there the king of the kingdom because we've already got the king in the game for example that doesn't mean we can't have other kings though there could be um, other king races in faraway lands for example kings of other races but um so it's it could work it all just depends on what it is and uh 
the last point is the raindrops required to make a character may be increased in the event of a high number of submissions. That was always there. Put it me. Getting the burps coming out. Um, so that that last point was there before. I always need that there because we never we're not let's let's be honest here, guys. We're not going to keep the submission at a thousand raindrops forever, especially as um, we get further in the development because we'll we'll end up with hundreds upon hundreds upon hundreds of submissions especially as the community grows so um as time goes on you might find the requirement gets raised um right now a hundred is a nice it's a nice point i mean a thousand sorry i always do that i always say a hundred instead of a thousand a thousand is a nice uh ideal number for our current community size um, so that's what it is at present. That's a good thing. You got it, because things just get out of control, you know. I would, I'd, I'd be making character profiles more than I'm working on the game, <laughs> and if we'd, you know, we never get anything done. And um, that's how I found found I was getting. I was spending a lot of time make, doing the character profiles, and and that's why I raised the raindrop requirement because it was originally 500. Um, a few months ago it was 500 raindrops back back in the day and i doubled it to a thousand because it felt like we was getting submissions a little too often a little too often so uh since i've raised it we've not had any we've not had any submissions since we've raised it which is ideal because this is a long-term project guys we've uh, we don't want to have all the like to dozens of submissions in the first year of development when that's only 10% of our development time potentially um, so um, we'll, we want to take we want them to trickle in slowly ideally over the course of the development not be all submitted within the first year so because uh, you get overwhelmed um, and uh, we don't want it to be oversaturated with characters yeah like especially early on like say if we was mid game or end game we want to populate the cities of course we want to have npcs to populate our towns and cities but because we we're just getting started here having too many too early on would be a bit much because they'd be just be sitting there for a very long time because most of these characters aren't going to come until a later episode when we have the opportunity for them to be introduced. Um, um, Oracle, thank you so much for the sub. I appreciate that. Rose, the Queen of Fringe. I'm so glad to catch you. I, I like the name. Thank so you, Oracle. You. My goodness, that's six months. That yeah, I means you get um, the next blood drop badge, haven't you? It's a little bit more pink now. It's a GG Oracle. Thank you so much for the support. Let's give a bit of hype. Wrap this up. Yeah, you got an emote, Drago. GG. I still prefer the Pride emotes though to the, to the new ones, but just personal taste and preferences in it. Uh, yay thank you for the hype right guys so i'm um, for those of you just walking in if anyone's just popped in we i'm um walking talking through the new text information that i've added to the character section on the website because this is brand new we didn't have any of this here before and i think it's important stuff just to give people a bit of a to help guide people especially people who are new here so they know how this all works um, and to get an understanding um, of how we organise our project and the nature of it. So if anyone does want to read it properly, because I'm not sure if the text is large enough on stream, then feel free to go on the website and look. The Pride image, yeah, the ones from June, there was, there was some really, really cute ones. Um, I was really fond of uh, these penguin ones, for example. Let me show them off to you. Is it okay, if, yes. Spam your emotes in my chat, guys. I'm all for that. I like seeing all the cute emotes. I'm very fond of hype, so 
yeah feel free to do it oh that, yeah i've got every single one of them as well though they're, they're super colorful and and nice oh yeah i was happy i got them all but yeah so um so yes um in the event of a high number of submissions the requirement will change and there's something else that i want to talk about as well you might have noticed that we've closed to flattable character forms this is just temporary and I'm going to talk about this because um, there's something very important about this. And we actually talked about this last stream. So if you, if you are curious about what the discussion was, feel free to look at the VOD. Because it was an interesting um, topic of conversation. So you can't actually click. There's no form that comes up when you click here because it's not currently closed. But the NPC forms are open. So they will be open at all times and the requirements of those and raindrops. And I'm gonna talk about what my plans are with the playable character in a characters in a sec. Um, if we if we go on the read more section, you'll be able to see who we got so far, guys. So uh, characters. So we have guys, we have 13 character playable characters so far but we actually have 14 because one of them is a secret playable character so we've actually got 14 and the secret playable character isn't isn't on here yet but they will be in the future um so and you know some of the, some of the playable characters we gather will pro might be secret ones it all depends they might not all be forced playable characters you know i think the concept of secret playable characters is quite cool the unlockable secret ones like vincent and yuffie in final fantasy 7 for example um so we have 14 playable characters so far guys and we have these are our npcs how many npcs do we have one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen seventeen eighteen nineteen twenty twenty one so we have 14 playable characters so far that have been submitted in the first year of development and we've got 21 npcs that have been submitted in the first year to them it's a lot it's a lot for, for our first year considering this is a decade plus long project you know um and uh, that is ultimately why i did raise the raindrop requirement because most of these submissions happened when we were on the five well all of the, these submissions happened when we were on the 500 raindrops um requirement so since we doubled it we've not had any come in and um we probably will have some come in because i know a few of you are very keen and i've seen you checking your raindrops so eventually we, we're gonna have more submissions but it's gonna take you a while because it's not easy to get a thousand might take a few months you know to get that but you'll get there eventually right so uh i kind of would train you guys to realize that there's no rush you see and it's okay to take a few months or even a year to get the thousand raindrops um so i start i looked at this and we talked about this last stream and it was like right now the playable characters and the npcs are, are very sort of equal we do have a few more npc submissions we got 21 of those and 14 playable but it's we want i want to encourage more npc submissions and playable characters with playable characters i'm only willing to have 50 by the end of the game and the end of the game is a very very long time um with whereas with npcs it's limitless um by the end i wouldn't cry if we had a couple of hundred of npc submissions because we do need to populate our places villages towns with them we can have many towns by um end game right now we've only got everbloom forest but we've only just we're only just barely getting started at this point and everbloom forest itself has a about a dozen npcs live in there not community ones but there's still a dozen bigger cities will have maybe three times as many npcs living there as there are at lake four so because of that npcs um are a lot easier to insert into the game and it's not 
there's no limit on NPCs, whereas with playable characters there is. Even having 50 playable characters is an awful lot, considering there's so much implementation with them skill trees and skills and all that thing. But I see it as it, because this is such a long-term project, it's not um, It's not like we're doing all of those in one go. We, episode one will probably only have four playable characters in it. So it's like we're working on a few of them at a time a few of a playable characters at a time at each episode. We're gradually introducing them. Um, Jesus, if we did all 50 at once, that would be like, whoa, wouldn't have to cope. So yes, they will, we I we want the, um, the playable characters to start trickling in way more slowly. The submissions for playable characters from this point on, um, NPCs, it doesn't matter as much. Like, I encourage you many npcs so it's all good um so that is why we've got it closed right now and i've got a couple of plans in mind for how we're gonna organize that from this point on in, in the development i'm gonna chat about a bit about it um i shall get enough to get a couch in a decade exactly exactly Considering most of these are sitting here anyway for God knows how long, it's not like you guys are like, oh my goodness, I have to do it now. Um, but yes, so I'm, I'm gonna just, I've got a few nines here, let me get them up. So yes, 14 out of 50 playable character slots are filled. That means the 36 left, 36. It's not a large amount, especially as this is a, like we say, long term. It wouldn't take long to fill those up if I left play the playable character form open even at a thousand raindrops. So there's a couple of things I've got in mind. I'm gonna, playable characters is gonna become more valuable to be, folks. So um, because there's only 36 slots left. Um, the chat we talked about this before we talked about tiers um and playable characters is going to become more expensive to be it's going to cost more raindrops to be a playable character than it will for npc um for the time being npc is going to remain a thousand raindrops unless i find we're getting way too many of those too then that will get raised as well but um you know at the moment it's all good like that um but playable characters will be raised they're gonna stay closed for the time being in fact i'm thinking of keeping them closed until the end of the year for the rest of this year guys um and starting next year they're gonna open again and there's gonna be a few requirements to be one it's gonna be far more valuable now to be one of those um and there'll probably be limited slots available each year for playable characters. And it'll be a first come first serve thing. So those of you that have the raindrops, I cannot put a figure on it yet how much it's gonna cost, but it's definitely at minimum gonna cost twice as much as what NPC costs. Maybe even put it at three times as much. It all depends how things stand. Um, next year at the start of next year we'll i'll judge i'll look through the raindrop where people are the currency in my bot settings and then make a, a judgment of what the cost of playable character should be um at that point and there will be limited slots because 36 left guys um and it's not going to be a lot of slots like if it's going to be a few only a few slots available then the raindrop requirement will be higher but if there's a lot of slots available or a fair few few amount then the raindrop requirement will be a little bit lower but still more than npcs um, but i just wanted to make you aware of that folks because it's that's how we're going to be handling playable characters from now on um i might even make a note here saying i oh, will be reopening um next year or at the very beginning of 2021 and um i might actually add an faq question saying what um when why is the playable character form 
closed and then just expand on why like what i've just been talking about to you guys and um, just give a little bit of information with how we're going to organize that so that is going to be something we do um okay and yeah because the the ultimate goal really is so we can have four or five times as many npcs as bible characters over the you know as, as we go through this project because that'll be a more ideal balance because uh of course playable characters are far more limited of course than mvcs we said that's what what we're gonna do because right now it's far too it's 250 50 at the moment with playable characters and mvcs so there does need to be a slightly uh more strict a requirement for that one because it's more precious now um all righty all righty so i think that's it enough chat about that i think i've, I've uh, raised all the points needed of course if anyone's got any questions about that or if some one of these bullet points you feel are confusing or need a reword or clarification feel free to say because i want it to make sense for you guys as much as possible um don't want any like misunderstandings or you know any chance that people could be like oh but you said this or you said that so um feel free to say if there is anything you are more precious oh thank you very much i am quite precious aren't i am one of a kind me i'm one of a kind but yeah so i'm I'm sure many of you would be with me on this. You were last stream when we were chatting about this. We were we were kind of feeling, you know, for sure if there's only 50 playable cards, I mean 50 is still a huge amount. Most RPGs like when you when we think of Final Fantasy, there's about eight people in the party by end game, isn't there? But with Raindrop Chronicles, because we have uh, specialised classes and we were a little bit more inspired by um games like chrono cross and valkyrie chronicles with their high selection of playable characters and party picker and things so it's it'll work fine i can't see us going beyond 50 though in, in fact i feel like the ideal point is between 40 and 50 it might not be 50 exactly but um you know it would fall the limit would fall somewhere between 40 50 but no more than 50 and uh, it seems like a big number, 50 does, considering we've only filled 14 of the slots so far, but that is a lot. 14 in the first year is a lot. That's a third. That's about a third, isn't it? Maybe a bit less. That's about a third, though. Um, and we're definitely not a third of the way through development. So, yeah, it needs to slow down a bit and the need to start trickling a bit more slowly. Um, so yes, it's closed, but you can be an uh, NPC, guys, if you reach a thousand raindrops and you are totally up for being an NPC, feel free to fill that one in. If you're here right now and you're feeling a bit gutted because you wanted to be a playable character, it's not the end of the world, you can still be one. You just have to be a bit more patient is all. If you're really, really, really keen, if you're here and you're really, really keen to be that playable character, you know, you just got a little bit, be, be a little bit more patient, and the forms will open again next year, and there will be a, a few little, a little, a few more stricter requirements on being it. So um, when that time comes, uh, I'll update this part of the website again with that information. Um, I like that my character has a lot of versatility. I'd rather not have him to be a playable because then he has to follow a set path. Yes. There's something very appealing about NPCs because um, they're not strictly limited to being part of the hero group and the party. And uh, um, they're a little bit more flexible, NPCs are in general. Um, but playable characters are free to, to like temporarily leave the party as well if their story out takes them in a new direction um if that happened it'd have to be unavailable on the party picker but it's uh we're still very early on and we're still trying to figure out how it's all gonna work um 
in episode one i don't even know if we'll have the party picker system at that point because uh, we might not even have more than the four people in battle at that time but we'll see because we don't know yet until we start adding more content um, I'd rather have him be a part of the story, yeah, and uh, yeah, because really NPCs exist to advance the story and populate the world. Um, they're a little bit more story focused than the uh, playable characters generally are. Um, playable characters kind of just follow the hero more, but uh, you know me, I'm always keen on giving everybody a personality in a story. Um, but yes, it's it's all just personal preference, and I'm glad a lot of you do like being NPCs because that is really we want more. We want way more NPC submissions than we do playable character ones, which is why I'm kind of doing this now so I don't get myself into a mess where we've already filled the playable character slots before we've even released episode one, and. Um, there's no balance you know we we need f about five times as many npcs in playable characters by the end of the game i mean that's not going to happen overnight of course but eventually we will have a lot of npc submissions i'm imagining um howdy hi chub cheeks how you doing it's lovely to see you i hope you're having a good day i've had too much water and i need the tinkle potty but i don't want to go how are you chub cheeks Okay, guys, so that's all there now. And, of course, any questions, feel free to ask, guys. But I hope you're with me on this. I think that it's a, a, the best idea for the project. Um, we have, uh, you know, a, a, a dozen playable characters to work with for now. And uh, I think we're, we're at a good point to close this now, considering we've got 36 slots left. That's a nice number that divides with our year by year thing. So if it's a not it's a nine year project, say after this year, that's just an estimate, by the way, because we don't really know how long we'll be doing Raindrop Chronicles for. But um, like I see it on average as an estimate, do is a nine year thing. But if it's like that, thirty six divided by nine, that would mean four playable character entries per year. So there might be something like that that we do. We'd have uh, four slots available per year, and that makes it like ridiculously, like precious, you know, to to get those. But the ones that get the most raindrops, in all honesty, will be the ones that get it because there'll be a higher raindrop requirement, and um, uh, I'll base that raindrop requirement on. Uh, I'll look at my website because I don't want people rushing to fill it in either we, do, we don't want to be in that situation where all the four slots get full within the first day uh, it would that won't happen with our community and the size of it now but even if we were a larger community we I'd just make the raindrop requirement to be a playable character super super high so we'd avoid that from happening <laughs> a dozen is plenty yeah for sure for now anyway i mean don't get me wrong I'm, I'm i'm kind of very excited of the idea of having a ton of playable characters but i don't want to think about that this early you know so the amount we've got now is kind of a, a good a good point um okay so what now guys so i've, I've talked about that that was super important to talk about uh, I've got a Google Doc up here actually because there's a few things to talk about because in the title of the stream today it says, I think it says that we're going to be putting together the first playable build um, and I guess that's an ongoing thing in a way but there's a bit of things to sort out today um, okay I need the I need the toy. I might have to go in and out be a, a quick by a BRB in a sec. I'm gonna wait a little bit longer. Um just checking that's on mute because I'm paranoid. Right. 
Right, so I've got this Google Doc up because I was going to write a couple of things in here today before we get started. Okay guys, so what's the date? It is the 19th of August, right, so next Tuesday the 25th of August, something cool is going on, something cool is going to be happening, it's called a pit, pit, hashtag pitch your game. Um, it's just like a little like platform thing on Twitter where people look under that hashtag um, on that day it's a once a month thing and um it's like just for exposure sort of thing for your indie game and it, i looked at the website they've got a proper professional website and everything and i'm super kind of very intrigued by it and i thought yeah I'll, I'll do a picture game thing and i've just realized it's next week i actually forgot about it until the other day and then I was, oh crap, it's that, it's that picture game thing next week and I'm not prepared at all. So what I was thinking of doing for it, I mean, I hope there's time because there's less than a week now. I was thinking of making a small trailer um, showing off Raindrop Chronicles content so far. If we don't have time to get a trailer done, because the reason why it makes it difficult is because I've recently redid the map, you see, of Everbloom Forest. And there's a lot of setup to get that fixed. I've got to redo all the mapping, as in the mini-map thing. I've got to do the collision, region collisions, so we don't go bumping, like walking over water and cliffs. Um, and there's a, there's a bit of work to do before it's going to be ready to start taking video footage off. So I'm hoping I can get it done in time. Um, it's it's kind of a maybe at this point, but I'd like to make it a short trailer showing stuff off um, of the game. I think it'll be cool to do that for each like little playable build we get out until the release of episode one. Because uh, videos are always cool to watch, aren't they? Let's be honest. And we don't really have a proper trailer yet. We've got the story so far, the first one, but that isn't really um, a trailer. That's just a story kind of narration. Um, so that's my thought, because the picture game thing, we're going to look, it's going to be much better if we have something like a video to show off, to be honest. But if we don't, if I don't get to do it in time, I'll just put in an image there or if the four images the, the space for instead I think a video would just look better um, be sure to give you a retweet yeah that'll be fantastic because you want, to, you want everybody to find out about our awesome game as much as possible but but guys like I wanted to ask you today those of you that are hanging out um, if you felt anything in particular out of what you've seen so far that we've done in the game should be in the trailer like if there's a particular um, character or dialogue scene or section of the game that you're particularly fond of then feel free to request it for the trailer um but i was going to make a list myself today of what bits i think could be good to show off in the trailer as well so we'll see um but so yeah we've got we've got it we've got just under a week so let's see how we go we do have to tidy up the late fall and evergreen forest map we're very close to getting being done there and um, I was going to do a bit more of that today, this stream. We'll open tiled and do that in a bit. Um, but there's a lot to do. There's a lot of bits and pieces to put together. Um, for not just the trailer, but the first playable build as well. Like we're, we're, a bit, we're still a bit far off with the first playable build because uh, we need to... Everything's a bit disjointed at the moment and not linked, so I need to make sure that it is before we release that. Um, and I did want to start, I do want to start thinking about new content in September, but rather than add the new content, it would just be sort of chatting about it and brainstorming at this stage. Um, so there might be a few streams once September begins where we chat about things like here, this, what's in here. 
like the main, the next main quest, side quests, the characters in Lightfall, etc. Well, we might, we might do a bit of brainstorming there, but I'm not going to actually start implementing that next quest or any side quests and that, that sort of thing until we've done the first Pebble Build stuff and got all that smoothed out. Jesus, it hasn't felt like a year yet. Oh my goodness. Time is weird, isn't it? I, I, I personally don't feel like I've been streaming Raindrop Chronicles content for over a year either. I mean, we're on stream. <laughs> Stream's 171 today. Anyone coming in and think we're almost finished the game and it's like, no, we're like 1% through it, dude. <laughs> so, yeah, it makes me wonder how many streams we're going to have by the end. But that's kind of cool. I'd love to have a huge, massive number of streams there so I can show off. Um, okay, so. Did I make some notes on my phone when I was uh, last night about what can go in this trade? I think I did actually, just a few rough ones. Um, let me have a look. Okay. So. Oh, we got to make the text white though because we're on dark mode. Because I don't want to make your eyes bleed, folks. So I'm uh, on dark mode for you all. I hope that's okay. I mean, I know some people do like light mode. But I think overall it can be a little bit whoa especially google docs there's like it's all just bright white i think it'd be nicer if there was a few lighter grays dark mode is best mode yes so okay so first playable build So it'd be like version 1.0, right? That's kind of what the folk call it. I believe. I believe that is usually the first ever one. It's... Okay. Should we make it a bit bigger? So this is what we're going to be working on for who knows how long. Um, we will like have, like I said, chats about um, co other content that we can add to episode one as well at some point, just to break up it being monotonous and all that. Well, it could get a bit much, a bit, you know, if if all we if all we're doing every stream is working on perfecting this first playable build and doing all the fixing and tidying up, so it can uh, be a little bit draining on the creativity so it would be nice to like break it up now and again with brainstorms and chats about what can come after because i always find those streams super exciting when we get to talk about that sort of thing um but uh yes this will be something we're working on so like i said i'd love to uh think about a trailer and this trailer if it's gonna get done it's got to be done by the 25th of august guys um, because of the picture game thing if we don't miss if we don't meet the 25th of august that means we'll you know we've missed we've missed our opportunity and we'll just have to do it next month because i think it's a every month thing and i still intend to do a tweet for it on the 25th even if we don't finish the trailer but there won't they, i just put pictures up instead it won't be as good but it'll it'll do but i'm gonna try my hardest to get it done but i'm not gonna cry forever if i don't hi gabby i do it's awesome to see you hope you're having a good day um and i think like doing this trailer would be absolutely fine to do by the 25th if it wasn't for me recently redoing the whole map of everbloom forest because most of the trailer content will take place in the everbloom forest so that map needs to be out the way and done before i start taking video cut footage of all the scenes um and it's there like we are very close to finishing that map now so could could do well could do it so 
the first thing I thought could go in the tray. How are you doing there, Gabby? I hope you're having a, a good week so far. Um, now, this is the thing that sticks out of mind. Customer, no, no, <laughs> custom hero creator is, is one of the things that could go in the trailer because uh, it's, I'm pretty proud of that. Like, it's pretty unique. I did a tutorial once on this and it got thousands of views on YouTube and then I put it on private because it was too much for me. I was getting way too many comments and I, I decided I didn't want to be a teacher. I was like, I'm not being a frigging teacher. I've got a game to make. So I put the video on private. But I'm still like freaking like proud. I'm like, wow. So that actually was super cool. People thought the custom hero creator was cool enough to get that much attention. I think it's because RPG Maker as an engine doesn't have such a thing in it. It's not there by default and I have to build it myself and it's pretty unique. So it has an appeal there for that reason. My goodness, thank you Kia for that sub. Oh, the big one zero. Thank you so much. How does it feel to be t a two-figure number sub now? Here, I hope you're doing well. Yeah, and dude's getting all those emotes. I hope you're happy. Well done. I think I've got a few of that, actually. Yay, let's have some hype. Hope you're having a fantastic day, Kia. Hope it's treating you well. Thank you very much for the support. Oh yeah, so um, that's the first thing that sticks to mind, especially now because we've got an updated custom hero that is a, is a lot more fluid with what you can be. Because we've added, uh, we've changed a few things to do with gender and the body type you can have based on your gender. It's way more fluid and way more um, exclusive and stuff. So. The, on the YouTube at the moment, we've got the old custom hero on our, on our sneak peek on our YouTube channel and at some point I am going to update that video with the new version, um, but I'm going to prioritise doing this trailer for now before that, so it'll show off um, the custom hero create version 2, which is the newer version of our custom hero, the one that might, a lot of you haven't seen yet. Um, and Carol the Barrel First Meeting is uh, something that's uh, striking me. In fact, let's open our Raindrop RPG Twitter for a sec, guys, because uh, I did some, I've done some screenshots after days over the last few weeks, and um, there might be some ideas on there for what can be, what we can have as the video. You made the awesome character creator tutorial. Yeah, I, thought I did. I'm very happy with it. Okay, so here's the Twitter. Right. So yeah, this was it. This was the tweet I was thinking of. So this was um, the throwback. We did this scene well early on, like game dev stream four, it says here. And it was it's the scene where your custom hero meets Cal the Barrel. It's the first, like literal first scene of the entire game. Um, this is so you meet your hero and then they're in the barrel. And then Carol punches you. And gets mad at you for being inside her. Yeah. Um so that I think should go in. That's one thing that could go in. The tutorial sounds super helpful. Have you thought about making it public but disabling comments? Um, interesting idea, at our, um, Iron. Um, probably not because I still don't want people thinking that I'm a I'm I'm a content creator who does tutorials. Um, because I don't want to be a tutorial content creator because it takes way too much time. And like people will just, even if the comments are disabled, people will think that that's what I am and they'll sub to me for those reasons on YouTube, um, expecting probably more stuff like that. 
Um, and I want them to sub to me because they are interested in Raindrop Chronicles most of all. Yes, I'll get less because really most people care about something that's going to benefit them. But, but I don't care because I just want them to care about my content more than what I can do for them. Um, and um, the other reason, and now this is going to, I'm going to sound a bit mean potentially saying this, but... Um, I kind of want it to be just mine now because it's actually pretty unique and I want it to be my game only <laughs> because uh, because it's so... Um, if every single RPG Maker game sees my tutorial and starts adding it to their game, then that takes away the what makes our game a bit unique, you know. And I want to have unique things in Raindrop Chronicles because I, I worked hard on that, you know, so... Um, <laughs> um, okay, and let's go down. But how are you doing, Ian? I hope you're having a good day. I'm glad you guys liked it. I just, I just have started to get a little bit more selfish than I was at the start. I was all for like, oh, but I wanna, you know, that I was, I was um, a lot nicer when I first started this, but now I'm, I'm getting very proud of my game and wanting it to stand out. Doing all right, thanks. We'll be more active in a moment. Oh, no worries at all. No worries. You like your way. Um, okay. Uh, what else can we have? Let's go back to the Gudo dot for a sec. Also, there were, there's a couple of scenes with Carol, so I'm going to put that there. We might have them both. Hi Nathan, how you doing? It's good to see you. I think this was the hashtag. I hope I'm right. Um... So right now, folks, we just I'm just listing um, little clips that could be that we could use on our trailer. It's not going to be super long. I doubt it'd be like a super long trailer, but enough to show off the game and what we've done so far, you know. Um, So that'd be like, you know, actually showing how it looks. Um, so yeah, we want cutscenes and dialogue bits. The am amusing, funny parts. Um, but we also want to show actually in-game stuff and walking around and how that'd look too. Um, oh, first playable version. Yeah, that's what's kind of, are we going to be focusing on for the, t for, um, the time being for the next few weeks maybe as well as just chatting about having a bit of brainstorm about the next content too because we'll be thinking about new quests to add as well but when it comes to what we'll be like polishing and working on it'll be all the stuff we've already done we want to make sure that's all perfect before we start implementing the new content but i'm, I'm gonna start have fun brainstorming the new content um okay so and then the other one. Oh, oh, what have I done? Have I crossed it off? No, I haven't. Yeah, <laughs> I was like, where is it? I was like, okay, so this scene as well was a good one. People liked this one. Because this actually shows the choices in the game. And that's something we want to show off for the trailer too. Like the fact you can make choices. And that... Um, that you can do things to NPCs.
Like that is super important because it's kind of one of the coolest things about our game. Um, I'm excited to see it. Yeah, me too. I mean, I haven't got a date for a, the first player build, build yet on our Trello. I've got here and also hang on because our browser has crashed again. Uh, there we go. Um, I've got here on our Trello page that it was planned for this summer, but it will be delayed due to some improvements I'm working on. I was I was punching well above my weight thinking we was going to get it out this summer. And even if I did, it would have been very rough around the edges. And I, I'm more inclined to polish. I know it's only the first playable build. It doesn't really matter because it's very early days. This first playable build, like when episode one comes out, it's, it will obviously have so much more. Um, but I still want it to be okay and set a first a good first impression, you know, so it's going to take a bit more time uh, Okay, so that's one So really this is going to be a trailer that we because we, we don't have a trailer yet We don't have a proper trailer anyway um, And I my idea is that we make one for the picture game thing that's going to be on on the 25th of August It's a pretty cool hashtag thing that where we can show off our game to the world. So make sure you retweet guys um, but this will prob trailers will probably something be something I want to do more of in general especially to um, sort of um, go with our playable build releases that we do this one will be the first playable build trailer um so yeah it, it's kind of going to be considered what i'd see as the first playable build trailer and when we do a second playable build and a third etc we'll have a trailer for those too with the stuff that's going to be in them the extra stuff okay so quick question what is this website called again oh you you mean this that we've got up here or do you mean um my our website the raindrop chronicles website or do you mean trello i'll let you know once i know which one you mean um for organ oh you mean the trello here you go drago we've got a command for it there so if you want to look like i've given the link there is um will lead to our raindrop chronicles trello page but it you know if you're intrigued to make your own then you just click that and then you can make an account and stuff um, so yes, yeah, so we got that. Um, because that's just a different setting, a different scene. It's not in the forest, so it's a little bit more varied. So I think that'd be a cool one. Um, and there was some cool dialogue and cool choices in that cabin as well, actually. Um, but that tile set really is in dire need of an, an update as well. So all this stuff that i'm bullet pointing right now i've got to make sure is perfected before the 25th of august um so that it, our trailer will be ready because it'll be easy enough to take the clips do the put, put, do a test play of the game and record in obs this everything that's the easy bit the hard bit is making sure everything's perfected in time considering we was in the middle of improving all the tiles and the maps so we got to make sure it's all good um scene with carol and rose now yeah that's a scene that's the scene that comes after the one with the, the cabin i'm gonna label it so that's main quest one That's the first scene. That's main quest two. Maybe this text is a little bit big. I'll make it a touch smaller.
Yeah, we got out the Carol flashback scene. I was super proud of that one. It's on our Twitter page somewhere, guys, if you haven't seen it. Yeah, honestly, I recommend you um, look through the Raindrop RPG Twitter if you haven't, because uh, if you're curious about what we've done, some of the screenshots are today's show off cutscenes and things like that. So this is the Carol the Barrel flashback scene here where they're in the wagon. And there was some cool dialogue there and it, there was an action scene with a hijacking that was pretty cool too. So um that can definitely go there. Hi, is this Final Fantasy 7 music playing? Hi Banana, how are you doing? Yeah, we have a song uh player name in the corner of the stream there guys so that you can see what songs actually play in that was something we recently added well i recently added um so that you guys could see the song because i know that it's sometimes uh nice to know what's in the background if you like the sound of a track and you don't know what it is top left yeah we got a big playlist now. We've got it's 13 hours long, but I'm still adding more to it. So there'll be maybe a couple of other games on there over the weeks. Trello is what's called a Kanban board. There's actually a bunch of websites that have Kanban and add productivity tool. Oh right, you know your stuff, Iron. I really like it. I'm really fond of it. I love how visual it is and how organised it is. I love the coloured labels as well. It really helps a bunch just to separate things um, and keep everything super organised. How are you doing, Bananas? Welcome to the stream, by the way. I hope you're having a wonderful day. And guys, because I know some of you are just coming in, um, I just want to let you know. Um, we have updated the website a little bit, the characters section. And this is mainly for you guys who are keen on being a character in the game, just to read some of the stuff we've got. Because there's a few little bits and bobs that I've uh, written. I wouldn't call them rules, it's just... A guide of how how it all is gonna work playable characters are currently closed as well I'm gonna I did talk about why a little bit earlier in the stream if you're intrigued to watch the VOD but um, I will be adding the reason on the FAQ at some point and how it's all gonna be organized and managed from now on it's temporary that it's only temporary that the playable characters are closed but uh, it's going to be a lot more strict and more of a challenge to be a playable character compared to an NPC. Um, NPCs are going to remain a thousand raindrops to be and that, that form will be open at all times but playable character is going to be um, cost more when it does reopen and there's going to be limited slots available each year as well. Um, so it's going to be harder, but there's only 36 slots left, you see, guys, for playable characters. Um, and they're very precious, so for that reason, it's going to be a lot harder to, to be one. But with NPCs, we can have many. Um, hi, GTA, how are you doing? It's so good to see you. I hope you're having a wonderful day. How are you doing? How's your Wednesday going? So the flashback scene is one. And... Now this is the big one, well one of the big ones, meeting the fruits because the fruits are cool. How could we not have a scene showing off the fruits? And that's also a main quest too. So as you can see, our, que our main quest in Raindrop Chronicles are pretty chunky because we have four, three scenes here. Three scenes in just main quest two alone. So they're pretty chunky quests guys. And that's main quest one. So we have at the moment the stage we're at in the project. We are we are really at the end point of main quest two. We just finalising that that very end um, part where we've had the the scene with the fruits. There's a boss battle with them, the first boss of the game. Um, then there's a little short scene after we've defeated them. We're kind of just finalising that scene now and we'll be thinking about main quest three soon. Um, but as far as far as it goes with main quest three, all we'll be doing for the time being will be brainstorming and chatting about it. We, I won't be actually physically implementing 
it until main quest. One and two are perfect. Because the first playable build is only going to have main quest one and two in it. I'm thinking the, the right stopping point for the end of the first playable build will be um when we've had that fruit boss battle. And we've had that, that scene after it. And then... Um, so anything that we start adding after, like side quest, main quest three, etc., main quest thoughtful, that'll be other playable builds afterwards. So it's kind of like a demo in a way, I guess you could see it as. Um, RPG Maker just read in the title. Yeah, we have an FAQ page on the website as well, and there's a real, there's a, a lot of questions on there that might take your fancy because. All the questions that are on the FAQ are generally the most common ones I get asked. So if you're intrigued, feel free to have a read. Because then, uh, you know, you, you guys get to know how the project works and things as well. And I have an great thanks. How, how about you? I'm doing decent like today. Not doing too bad. Not doing too bad. Better than last week because it's not as, not as hot. Not as me not as melty at my desk anymore. So it's nicer. Um, last week it was ridiculous. It was ridiculously hot. Okay, so I think that's it. That's all that comes into my head right now about tr content for the trailer. But in all honesty, I think that is plenty. We could get a two-minute trailer out of that for sure. Because um, I, I believe on twi Twitter... The longest you can have for videos is two minutes. So that's probably the ideal point. Um, so I would definitely get a two minute trailer with all that. Um, yeah, and this, although it's gonna be the it's gonna be the trailer that will hopefully in time be submitted for picture game on the 25th of August, but it's also gonna be the trailer that I used to promote our first playable build as well. So um I think it's it's about time we have a trailer, like a proper one. Um, okay, I might have to go to quick BRB because I need to tinker party, but I don't want to go because I'm having fun. I'm fun doing this. Um, okay, so another thing I was gonna think about doing was just planning what we can do each stream until the 25th of August because I've got to make sure this all gets tidied up before then. So we've got today's stream, Friday's stream, Monday's stream, and then that's it. So we've only got two streams apart from today to get this trailer done. What the hell? Okay, but well, I've got my days off and the weekend, so we could do this. And we've got all the law bible stuff out the way. So we've got all that out of the way now we can f f fully focus on this so um stream so wednesday stream isn't it today i just want to get proper organized guys because if i don't get organized like this i'm not we're not going to get it done we're Tuesday will just creep up on us and I wouldn't, you know, we won't have the content for the trailer in time. So, um, we need to plan. I remember when I was, um, when the pitch game was like a whole month away and now it's less than a week. Time just goes by too fast. So, finish, I'm going to say finish the, yeah, and we probably won't get that finished today on stream, but as long as I get it done for Friday's stream. That will be sort of the goal that I see it as. Um, so that means on Friday's stream, if we've done the maps, the next thing to do after that would be just putting everything together on the new map. So that would be... Um, um, do collision on the new map improvement because 
We've switched from parallax maps to tile sets, so that means we have to treat collision differently. And by collision, I mean like so that we don't walk all over the water and the the, the cliffs. You know, we need to like make those like non-passable as for the player. So the collision is super important. So we don't really have a game until that's done. Um, and it was all already done before when we had a parallax map. There's a really good method we used to do that, but we can't do that method anymore on our new map improvements because it's tile sets. And tile does things differently to RPG Maker with collisions as well. So I have to like get my head around how it works in tiled as well. So that's something we can mess about with on Friday. Also, um, add mini maps because we're gonna have to re-add mini maps so i'll, I'll say re-add mini maps should i say because we've already got them on our old map but we need to have it on our new maps too um and it, it that's going to work a bit differently too the mini maps because we have one big map now rather than lots of small segments. So it's going to be interesting to get those implemented the new way, but I do have a, a way to do it. So I think we'll be cool. Um, and the other thing would be we add the enemies to the maps. Um, because if we're going to have this on our trailer, we need to make sure that the mini maps and enemies are added. Because I feel like that would be cool to show. I mean, it might even be a cool idea to do it in battle. Um, the thing is, I, I want to make sure that we have a a better battle backdrop, background, because we're currently using the default. Um, so, but I think I did find a few resources for what we could use for that. So there's a chance, but we might not have room in our trailer for it. We'll have to say. So I think it could be cool to actually show up battle gameplay too. We have, we have a few cool animations that we've worked on but if not we won't because we might not have to, i might not have time to smooth that over and add sound effects etc in time because there that is something we still have to do add the sound effects um So if that's the case, if that's what we do on Friday, we'll be doing a lot of test plays and tests. We'll be walking around our map and seeing how it all looks and works. Um, and that means I'm over the weekend, I can connect all these scenes together on our new map. Uh, maybe improve the cabin tile set as well, because that's something I wanted to do. I'll just say make sure scenes main quest one and two are uh, added to new map. Language one to uh, I to improve map. Um, do tra prepare trailer, should I say? Because we might have to do it have a trailer stream on Monday, then if it's the next day after that. Um, all depends, it all depends if we've even finished everything <laughs> so we can take video footage. Um, so yeah, that, that, if, if we have that sort of schedule for the next few scenes, then like, we might get it done in time. Hi Kung, how you doing? It's good to see you. I hope you have a wonderful Wednesday. We're doing a bit of planning at the moment, Kung. Planning stream. <laughs> how are you doing? Okay. So once we've done that, once um, Picture Game on the 25th of August is out the way, done and dusted, 
I mean, it works great because this isn't really a distraction in all honesty, because we'd be doing this anyway, if even if this didn't exist, um, even if picture game wasn't a thing, we, we'd, I'd still be doing this anyway, because uh, to, to prepare for the first purple build, because we need to, to get everything all pieced together for it. Um, and once all these things are done, We'll be at the point then that we can um, carry on improving where, where we left off. So that will be finishing the scene after the boss battle, um, like the, the very beginning of Main Quest 3 and how that's all going to unfold. Um, as well as improving that battle, I mean, goodness me, the battle stuff is complex stuff, and I'm always I'm very tempted to um, put it to the side. Um, because I had some good advice, which is always leave the battle stuff to last. I, I kind of agree with that in a way. Um, but for the same, at the same time, I still want the battle there for the first playable build. But I think it will probably be pretty basic. I'll just say that. when It's not going to be the probably how the battle actually be when episode one gets released. But I want something there, you know. We need something there. And then we can, it can be tested. We can balance it for the, when the first playable build gets released, the balancing can all be done then, when we've got that demo there to actually do the testing and see what needs altering and changing. Um, so it's gonna be an, a not perfect bat, bot, fruit box battle for the first purple but I'll just say that I'm not expecting perfection and I think that's the thing when it comes to these purple build releases because there's going to be many of them between now and episode one's release I've got to get it out of my head that they need to be perfect they can be rough around the edges that's the point so that we can improve them um, and nice I'm kind of tired today it was a non-stop crying and arguing with the boys on the way home today oh no were they being naughty how could they do that to our Kung? I hope they're okay now, though. I hope they're okay now, and I hope I hope it all gets sorted. And I'm glad that uh, I'm glad that you're here. We can make you smile, hopefully. <laughs> I'm going to do a trivia in chat, by the way, guys, in a bit, because I've just realised we didn't do one last stream because we got so occupied and busy. So um, we'll, we'll do one in a bit. I'll give you guys warning because I'm nice. Um, okay, so that's the case. Let's get cracking then. Let's not wait around. Let's get this finished because that's what we currently work in, the tidying up the map business. And that's basically what this all is. And then when that's done, we can start all on this stuff. Good times. Okay. I'll cross off the little Bible because we don't need that tab for now. And guys, make sure you have a little look at the website if you haven't seen it in the last week. Because we've got a few new updates on, on it. Particularly the character section. And we've also added the law Bible link as well. Um, TY, yes you do, they were just tired, one wanted to walk the whole way and the other wanted to go by a tram, sometimes it's the little things, Ah, children. I was a sensible child, I bet you guys would not believe that, no, I was, I was super sensible, seriously, I was never naughty. I should have been a bit more naughty, I think. I think it would have done me some good. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna open tiled now. Um, I think we've done enough planning. So, it's been a while since we've been in tiled because we've been busy getting other stuff done for the last week or so. Um, Ooh, bright white. Here we go. Yeah, we've been we've been preoccupied getting stuff in the law bible, but now that's done. We've we've kind of cleared things up with how the character system's working and we're ready to continue with this again now. So here we are. So as an update, guys, Lakefall is now 
we've got the stuff all in it. We got the graves here, we've got the tree, we've got every everything here. The buildings are here. Everything's everything's properly decorated and filled up. I've even put some flowers on the edges that the original map didn't have. The original map did have flowers, but only a few. I prefer I wanted more clustered flowers on the map, and that's we've got that now. So this is new like fall, guys, and this was old like fall. The tree has just been moved like one tile. And the reason for that was so we could get it centered and parallel with the cave below for law reasons. So, uh, yes, the cave has been added as well. And I've, I did a, a bit of recoloring. Um, where's the ladders and stuffs? Yeah, the ladders are here. I made sure that the ladders were recolored so they match more with the map and the wood and everything else um oh i haven't put the raindrop icon on this building yet that's something i'll have to do so we get in there all we need to do is add those details like the cliff the rock cliffs the vines and the flowers which i haven't really done much of i've done bits as you can see there's some here and some in like fall as well but there's a lot of sections that don't have those on yet as well which need to be finished but i think we're pretty close now um which is going to take a bit of extra time because it's a time consuming thing and also i've kind of done that over here as well i've created a bit of depth in the lake here so when fiona bookington gets pushed in the lake she'll be standing here it's going to look a lot more dangerous, you know, and she'll be fine, <laughs> but she won't be very happy with you, because in the original, on the original map, the lake looked super shallow, like there's no depth to it, but um, now, you know, it's actually pretty deep, and I think it works better, because in all honesty, it was a little bit flawed, the mapping here, because we had a high mountain here, but we had like, just nothing here it was just flat so it just fits a little bit more now and we do have a few little glitches like that for example so i need to fix those but that's going to be the last minute job i'm going to get all the flowers and vines and all the extra stuff in first so many flowers will they cause the sleep status alignment upon walking on them like those lily poppers in the wizard divides oh my goodness if we did that the players would get so salty eh? because they're everywhere <laughs> that we'd have some frustrated salty people and they'd be like i'm giving up on this game <laughs> if that happened but i would love to build some proper law i really would like to uh really build the everbloom forest and lightfall law together as a community join some brainstorm streams in the in the coming weeks i think that'd be super fun and will give us a bit of a break from playable build perfection you know so uh because there'll be a lot of first playable build perfecting going on for the next few weeks but i also want to do some cool creative stuff and brainstorming with you guys too it looks better centered it does doesn't it i think all in all it's better the colors are better and um it just looks more real in a way there's something looking at the old map now there's something flat about it um and there's just the colours are nicer and the cliff patterns aren't they're a little bit nicer as well. So as you can see, we've just got to add all the, the extra stuff because the old map has all these really cool vines and cliffs and all the extra flowers. So we just need to add that to the new map too. Um, ignore the little glitches that you see here. I'm aware that they're there. Um, but it's gonna I'm gonna have to make some separate tiles to cover things like that up the trick sometimes for me is to stick a tree in front i've done that a couple of times i think i did that this that here yeah there was a glitch here too um and i just stuck a tree in front to hide that there we go but i can't do that with everything you see because sometimes it's just not possible to stick a tree in front without it looking weird so i might have to just make some tiles specially 
for those. There's only a few. There's not a bazillion, so it's not like they'll take up too much. Um, but how are you doing, Ultima? I, I think, I, I mean, I answered you, but I can't remember if I even said hi now. How dare I not? And I like, I just generally like that how it looks better because the wood actually matches now. Um, and I think the graves look better, a bit better as well than they did before. Um, and you might have not noticed, guys, but the flowers here are the same colour as the fruits. That's blueberry, that's lemon, that's tomato, and that's plum. So, um, <laughs> they're the same colour as them. All right, so I'm gonna start adding more decorations over the map because that's priority right now. We can't really carry on or do anything else until the map's finalized at this point. I don't wanna do collision stuff until we've added everything. Um, he saw it put people doing all right, working on my game project, saw you streaming, figured I'd pop in for a bit, plugging in. Um, eight, five, 85 voiceover recordings I've done over the last two weeks. Oh, cool. I hope your project's going well yourself. How how is that going? How far? I, I, did I ask how far you are through yours? I I might have, but I might not have. Always intrigued to see how others are getting on with theirs. Um, I'm going to put a trivia in chat, guys. It's okay if this trivia stays in chat for ages. By the way, at the moment we usually get the trivia questions answered within five seconds but sometimes I'm actually I would like the question to stay in chat for a while just to give people a chance as well but don't get me wrong I love it when we blanks quick as well because it shows that you guys are having a blast with the trivia but oh my gosh this is an impossible question <laughs> No, it's not that hard, but you would have had to have read the Law Bible and know the barrel characters to know this is the answer to this question. So if anyone wants to answer, feel free to. Alvira and Hank Stenho, you got it. I wasn't sure whether people would because you actually have to be a bit of a nerd for the game to know these questions. So I'm kind of impressed. Well done. I'm going to give you a point. Points. Hopefully I've spelled your name right. Yay. Well done. You're on the leaderboard now for our trivia. Um, and it, it does refresh the leaderboard every month. So um, if you want to see the leaderboard, exclamation leaderboard, I'll show you the points so far. Um, and the whoever's top by the end of the month be becomes the law master of that month and has a, will be given a special Discord role. Um, and it will go back to zero at the, the end of every month so everybody gets a fair chance as every new month comes my first point yay you got it Steno. gj i mean i'll show you guys because if you guys are actually curious i feel like i want to show you law bible where are we because i like this section of our law bible anyway i think it's uh awesome it's under the lives of carol and her family guys it's a timeline um and the question was who are the first two bows that come to life and that's it how Vera and hank come to life there's the answer every single answer will be in the law bible somewhere but with most questions um, I love the timeline feature on World Anvil, I'm, I'm obsessed with it and I'd love to make more of these when we write more lore together as well. Um, okay, so back to Tiled. Uh, okay, so what first? We've got the flowers, the vines and the cliff rocks today. I'm going to do the cliff rocks first. I remember the, the last stream we were working on these map improvements. I was having some real issues with the shadow. But I've got it now. I did them ages ago. Uh, for now, I'm actually going to make a new layer. 
but I might merge it with another layer at some point because the more layers we have the more memory these the, this, these maps take up so we can I can merge some together to help that but for now I'm going to keep on a separate layer just in case we screw up and make a mistake okay so cliff rocks Semi lurking as on work call, but hey Kung, yay! I hope work's been nice to you today. After you've been back from your trip as real. Hope there's not too much work for you. Okay, so these are our rocks. We've got um I'm gonna just put them both together, but of course they won't be together into the maps. We've got one that's a bit longer and one that's a bit shorter, just for a bit of variety, you know, so they all don't look the exact same. Um, they, di they look a bit different to the old ones. I prefer the new ones personally because they're a, the um, the grass just looks sharper and not so blurry and messy like the old one was. Um, so uh, here we go. Um, right, so I think we'll. I'm not really strict on where we place these. We don't have to place them the exact same because of a different shape anyway. Uh, but we'll see how they look if we do. So how many cliffs do we have? We have loads. So this might take some time. Do we have any in? don't think we put any cliff rocks in like full. No, we didn't. Um, because the cliff is a bit shorter. Because the reason why... We d I did these cliff rocks in the first place was to break up the length of these cliffs because it can get a bit monotonous. I only see nothing but cliff, so it kind of just breaks it up a bit. Um, okay, so this is the old map, guys. I'm just gonna sort of overlay than where the old ones were because I do like the positioning of the old ones but I might alter it slightly at the end I'm gonna just do I'm gonna do the small rocks first so you can't see the new ones yet because I've got the uh, image of the old map in front but when I hide when I hide the layer you can. Uh, okay, so this is big ones now just to see how they look. Maybe if we put them ones there. I'm looking forward to seeing how the map will look when we have added the vines and cliffs though. Because I think the new cliffs are super nice. Oops, wasn't meant to do that. That shouldn't have gone there. Let's delete that. Okay. Okay, I think they look fine. I think we can space them a little bit better, actually. So, I'll just change the positioning of them just a touch. Um, can we move? I'm trying to figure out this tile program still a little bit. So, offset layers. No, that's not it. Yeah, I don't even know how to grab or move a section of the layer yet. I'll get that. Um, talking balance, will there be talking kitties? Who knows? When you've got talking barrels in the game, anything's possible. It's a good thing about fantasy, right? <laughs> but um, yeah, we've. Uh, you guys, if you've read the Law Bible, you'll know the premise that they were brought to life with a spouse. The barrels aren't really a race, They're, they were just barrels once upon a time, but were brought to life from a spouse. And there's a little bit of history, a bit of backstory about that spell if you do look through the Law Bible a bit more. Um, and there's that possibility that that spell could have affected other sentient objects as well in the world that wasn't meant to be brought to life. So that's the reason why there's living fruits as well. Why fruits are alive and not just barrels and trees. Because we've got some living trees as well. So, you know, the, the creativity is limitless. We can 
I think if, if something works, if it fits, we'll do it. And uh, we generally do do a lot of polls and things to make decisions and with ID, especially if we get a lot, we end up doing a poll. We haven't done one in a while because um, we haven't been adding new content recently. We may only be tidying things up. And, um, but when the time comes, when we do start doing that, there'll probably be polls again. So I don't want them to be too close together, so I'm just putting some a bit higher up. I, don't, I also don't like it when things are on the same line or row because I like forests to be a little bit messy and disorganised. I think forests look cool like that, so... So where are now? We don't... Oh, we have a couple here. Because I do like the positions, so I kind of want to have them in the same positions. And that's it. Miss my friends here last week while I was away. Ah, oh, bless you, Azriel. We miss you, Tone. Your presence was definitely missed. We missed your little kitty walking across. And oh, it's funny because I actually realised something because all Tim asked if there's been going to be talking kittens and I suppose there is because that's real one. <laughs> if you mean an actual uh, beast race type kitten, then yes. But if you mean actual pet kittens, then not yet. But who knows? I'm going, to, I'm going to work top to bottom actually, it's probably going to be a bit more easier there. Um, so we'll do this side now. Also we do, I mean, this was obvious anyway, we have a lot of uh, squares that aren't filled in. Um, I'm obviously reluctant to release the first playable build before we've filled in these edges because uh, otherwise what will happen is the player will walk across, hit a cliff and see the grey here. Um, so like the borders of these maps will probably have to fill in so that we don't see any weird grey 
when we played the game. So anywhere that is walkable, where you hit a wall, um, and you'll see that grey stuff will fill in before doing that. But eventually I'd love to actually have more maps in general on the outskirts, but we're not going to prioritise doing them detailed just yet or thinking about what's in them or what they are. But we'll at least do the edges so that we don't get any uh, weird grey lines. Um, hi Sorta, how are you doing? It's good to see you. I hope you're having a great day. How are things going? 100 raindrops as well. Special number there. So yeah, we'll start from this side. Um, the big ones first. Okay, I think that's it. So how did they look? Yeah, I'll just change the position a bit. Sometimes I try and like make it look like how the old map did, but they look weird in certain areas. So sometimes I might shift them a bit. Thank you for the follow, Star Games. I appreciate that. Welcome to the stream. Welcome to our geeky hangout place, where we're where most of us are lovers of RPGs. Is there anyone here who actually doesn't like RPGs? I'm curious now if anyone would actually come to the streams and and not and actually not. Some people only come for my accent, believe it or not. But yeah, most of us love RPGs here. Um, is this RPG Maker? It is Ark. Welcome to the stream, by the way. Well, this isn't RPG Maker. I am using RPG Maker to make my game. So yes, that is the, the answer. Yes, it is. But this program specifically isn't RPG Maker. This is tiled. It's a tile set, um, different tile set editor to the RPG Maker one because I um, recently decided to switch to tiled instead because there's a plugin that lets you do it, that lets you uh, use tiled instead of the editor. Just way more flexibility with this than there is um, the RPG Maker editor. You can have more layers and stuff, so it's super, super nice and ideal for our game. Um, I am also a game developer and love RPGs. Drop me a follow. We learning Unity and see as we go. I might drop you on. I'm actually very fussy with who I follow, but if your content looks great, then I may. Um, but welcome to the stream. Hi everyone, hi Shades of Pixie, how are you doing? Welcome back to the stream. Hope you're having a good day. How are things going for you? Okay, I think that looks good. So now, what we're we doing guys, because we're almost there with this map now. I mean, look, it looks super good now, doesn't it? We're just adding the extra details to the cliff walls, like the vines, the rocks, um, and there'll be flowers that we put on the grass as well because we've already got them in certain areas. Because um, this is how our map used to look. This here, this one right here is the old version. And this one here is the new one. Um, and we've had a, a break from doing this for the last week or two because we switched to working on something else. But we've recently gone back to do to finalising the map because I want to make a trailer for the first playable build and we want our map looking good for it. 
stuff, so that's why we're we're prioritising this again now. I'm good, how are you? I'm doing good. Not a bad day. The weather is just about perfect now. I was um I was melting last week. Cause I'm a pale vampire. I can't have the cot weather. It's not it's not right, it's not suited for me. Who's with me, right? Is anyone else like uh, prefers the cold to the heat or have we got any fans of the heat in this stream? Yeah, let's fill this wall now. I've seen the temperatures have been insane. Nobody likes summer good. Yeah, my parents love summer, but I've, I've noticed people of our generation don't. It's funny. Those boomers. Those boomers, eh? Baking in the sun. Sunbathing. I couldn't do that. You get bored. Just give me my computer and internet. That's what I want. I see sunbathing as a waste of time. Hi Top Bra coming in while I'm moaning about sunbathing. Welcome to the stream. How are you guys doing? You've been raided by Tank Ghost. Tank Ghost? Top Bra's Tank Ghost. Interesting. How you doing, Watery? Welcome back. I love the emote. What a cute kitty. What a cute kitty. Hey Rose Rainbow, just gonna run right away because there's sushi to be ordered. Have a good stream. Oh my god, I'm jealous. Can you give me some sushi, please? I want some. Top bra, let's give Top Bra a, a shout out. Yay, guys, make sure you follow Top Bra because Top Bra is making a game on Twitch as well. His is actually released already on stream, so I definitely think you should go check it out. It's got some gorgeous pics art and it looks super fun as well and super interesting. And um, add it to your wish list. If you if you don't buy it already, make sure you add it to that wish list. Boomer, <laughs> yeah, that's all we need. So I hope you go ahead, Top Bra, you get your foods. That's what I always do at the end of a stream. Food is important. Um, but I'm jealous because sushi's my favourite and I haven't had sushi in 2020 yet. Uh, why not? <laughs> How's it going, Rose? Not too bad. We we were um, just improving our map, our because uh, uh, we we recently redid it all, and um, because I want to make a trailer for the first playable build, I want this map to be done for it. So it's it's exciting times, exciting times. Also, I approve of the Ditto emote because Ditto is my favourite Pokemon. So thank you for using that. Best Pokemon. Who's your favourite po Pokemon? Who's your favourite Pokemon chat? I can't get my words out today. Okay, so this is me. This look. Make sure that this looks good. I hope Top Row had a good stream. I hope things went smoothly. Did it, guys? Yeah, I think that's good. I like a little bit of space in between the cliff rocks. I don't like them too close together and I don't like them to be parallel to each other. It's such a fuss part. Okay, so. Um, yeah, we'll add the vines afterwards. We'll do the cliffs first. We don't want to do too much um, at once or get confused. Okay, so what bits have we done? So we've done that, we've done that. Um, so let we can move down I think now. Oh no, we missed we missed a rock here. It's not the end of the world. It doesn't have to look exactly like the old map. 
but that'll do. Okay, so yeah, I think that this, in terms of when we'll get it finished, it's not going to be at the end of this stream for sure, but by Friday's stream, because it's Wednesday today, isn't it? So that means we're streaming next on Friday. By Friday's stream, I'm pretty confident I'll have um, a finished map visually and we can move on to doing some test plays on the map, like making sure that... Um, the collisions work and we get the enemies on the screen and the mini maps and get all that, that complicated stuff working for this new map. Um, that'll be exciting. Yeah, all these like super long cliffs here, I just, you know, nothing but cliff, it gets a bit monotonous, doesn't it? So, um, the job is to fill it up with stuffs, and there's a lot of stuff on here, there's grass, there's rock and dirt and vines. These vines here, the reason why they look, there's a straight line with them, because it looks, it looks pretty gross on the old map now and like that, but the reason why it was like that is because, um, the map was cut off at that point and that was the edge of it back then but because we've joined all the maps up now we, we need to make sure the vines don't look like that <laughs> um so we've got one big map now rather than lots of small ones um also yeah we're on this wall now Sorry, I think it's just this part and this part. Good morning. Hello, Van. How are you doing? Good to see you. Hope, hope you're doing good. Hope you've had a good week. How are things for you, my friend? Oh no, we don't want it like that. Okay, so the the, re the thing is we move the cliff position from our old to our new map. It's now a little bit further left. The reason for that, we, why we did that, is so it could be parallel to the um, graves and the bridge. For law reasons. Um, <laughs> I just thought, I think it's pretty cool. We talked about it in chat a while ago. It says, oh, is that cave directly under the... Um, the lake and although it isn't it's cool that it's parallel i think um so let's move these across a bit so they, look, they work on the new positioning finally got our meeting i've worked this morning so i'm going to be a bit in the lurk side no worries at all work is work and it has to be done unfortunately doesn't it but you take care
and I hope the meeting has been a nice meeting. I think that's a good I'm not sure actually whether that should be directly above maybe a little bit nice a bit off there we go um, Yeah, these ones are a little bit too close together, so let's uh, Once I've done these cliff rocks, I'm going to have a, a quick toilet break, guys. Because um, all that water, you know. We're very close to getting them done now. Um, hmm. I don't think we had any on that side, not on the low cliffs anyway. So it's, that means it's just the bottom section here that have them. Okay. No, no, not too bad. Done. That was quick. We didn't take long to do them. When we have the extra stuff on the cliffs, like the um, vines and some rocks, it, it'll break them up a bit too, because they look a little bit weird right now. I think they'll look good when the vines are there. Um, all right, guys, a quick toilet break for me. I'll only be gone for a few. Just don't go anywhere. Um, I'll be back very shortly.
Okay, I'm back. Said I'd be quick, didn't I, guys? Okay. Hello, I'm back. Um. Okay, so. Can't believe how fast the stream has gone, you know. What are we doing today, Van asked. Right, you missed a lot, Van, because we had some really cool chats early on in stream. Um, the second half of the stream, we've just I've just gone straight into finishing off the map because um, it's priority now um, because we've been planning things, folks. I've made a, a Google Doc of... Um, the goal is to make a trailer. Um, for the first player we built to sort of like complement it, go with it sort of thing and it's also going to be the trailer I'm going to use for Pidgey Game on the 25th of August um, so this, I've bullet pointed all the scenes and all the sections that we've done so far in the game that I think are worthy of showing off um, so I've kind of prioritised everything that will be in that trailer and because the Everbloom Forest map is so predominantly the backdrop for a lot of these scenes we need to make sure it's finished um so i said for today stream finishing like fallen everbloom forest map improvements um and then doing things like play testing the collisions and seeing if the mini maps and the enemies are working okay on the map on friday and then next week the day before the train i've got to make sure that the scenes are working good on the map so they're ready to be recorded um because everything has to sort of be redone now that we've approached the map differently because uh, instead of everything being bro broken down into seven pieces, it's all together now. So it's more seamless and open, this map is, than it used to be. Um, and that means that we have to treat the scenes a little bit differently, like how they begin, like how they... Uh, start and also the mini maps and the enemies are a little bit different as well because um, we've got to like sort of turn off the parallel process in the background if we're not touching a certain area of the map is a little bit confusing but i've got kind of got an idea of how to get it to work and hi arthur welcome to the stream hope you're having a good day hi zaver as well hi i was pretty busy this morning but i can watch the stream now welcome guys well we had a lot of chats earlier and i'm not going to go into repeating everything i said earlier on in stream because we'll be here an hour again talking about it all um, so if you are curious, then I definitely recommend to watch the VOD because we spoke about it straight after the starting soon screen. Um, but I'll, I'm going to just briefly give you guys a summary of what we talked about um, before this, um, before we made, before I made this little plan. Um, uh, so the website, right, guys? Let's come watch the VOD. Yeah, don't worry. I'll give you a summary because I do want you guys, and especially anyone who's popped in like van and any more other lurkers today that weren't here earlier to know what we're doing so i saw we're making a trailer yeah i think it's about time we have something like that to to show off and um like to regularly do trailers with every playable build that comes down it's not like playable builds are, will be coming out super often or anything but every time we get new content um, they probably will so exclamation mark project guys website so all it is I'm going to talk about this for a minute um, I've added a bit of information a bit of text to accompany our character section in the game just to give you guys a bit of guidance in how it all works because sometimes you've had misunderstandings in stream in the past um, so all this kind of makes everything clear up front about how everything works regarding your characters in the game. Um, I think it's better to just completely get it all out, especially for new people so that they're not confused and they understand everything that's going on. So those are there. Um, we have all the, for the forms are updated now we worked on those last streams and they're updated. Playable character submissions are now closed for the rest of the year guys but they're going to reopen again the first stream in 2021 so if you were very passionate about making a playable character those of you that are currently collecting your raindrops don't worry it's only temporary npc forms will forever be open um 
but playable characters the reason why they're closed is because we got to get the balance right right now we have as many playable characters in the game as we do npcs and that balance is completely off we need way more npcs and playable characters and with playable characters that ha there is a limit i'm only willing to have about 50 max in the game by the end um and that means there's only 36 slots left because 14 have been used. So those 36 slots are very precious. So when the forms do open again in the new year, um, they, there will be a higher raindrop requirement for them than NPC and there will be limited slots as well so it'll be a first come first serve thing if you've got the raindrops you'll be the one that gets to be the playable characters um, because we have to treat them as precious now considering we've only got 36 slots left and that is uh, not very many at all slots when you think of how long the development of this project is gonna be so we don't want to get them all used up too quickly we want to have a good balance between playable character and NPCs. So um, that means if you guys were at, at planning to be an NPC, then you're all good. Everything's the same, but we will be. Things will be a little bit stricter and more precious with the playable characters from now on. That they're, they're very, very rare and uh, limited at this point forward. Doesn't mean it's impossible for you guys to be a playable character if you're keen. Um, in the new year, they'll reopen. We'll have the we'll get we'll have the limited slots available. And once the limited slots have fill, been full for the year, it will close again until the following year. So it, they're going to trickle in much more slowly now. The playable characters are. Um, we, you know, we want to. We don't want to get. I, as a creator, don't want to get overwhelmed because playable characters are much harder to implement as well than NPCs. So, for a number of reasons, I think this is the smartest thing to do. I'm glad you decided to do that. It will make a lot less overwhelming as you move forward. Yeah, um, and I think ultimately, because there's a limit of fifty, you know, you got to think ahead because those will get taken up. If if I keep that form forever open and don't put any limited slots on them even at a thousand raindrops you, they'd be soon taken up this this time next year there's a chance we'd have them all in the game you know so i don't want them to be taken up this time next year i want this to them to trickle in slowly throughout all the years of development so each year we'll have a limited number of slots for sure so that they can trickle in more slowly yep i'm 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 very happy about this too but uh we talked i talked about this a bit more in the vod so if you just want to see what was said then feel free to have a look um i'm gonna just to close this before we go back to the map improvements um, I'm going to add as an FAQ question how why they're closed and so just people who come in in case the curious can understand why um, but in all honesty it's common sense isn't it I think most people realize that we need about four or five times as many NPCs in the game as we do playable characters. NPCs are so much easier because they're much easier to populate a world with. Um, if we, when we have a big city in Raindrop Chronicles, we all want to fill it up with a ton of NPCs and that will probably be the time when most NPCs get put in the game. Um, if it's appropriate for them to be in the city, of course, it's got to fit with the character and make sense for them to be there. Um, but yeah, I think this is for the best going forward and uh, we got a good amount to like sort of keep us busy for the time being as well. And um, seeing them tr playable characters trickle in much more slowly from now on is just going to be much easier. And yes, they are going to cost more raindrops. I can't tell you guys how much right now, but it's going to be a lot more than what NPCs are going to cost. It was it was suggested a while ago that we make it tiered and make playable characters more pricey. So they're going to cost more and there's going to be limited slots as well. And uh, so yeah, we'll get into the, the groove of it as time goes on. Um, so that's it then guys feel free again i'll put the 
project command in chat because if you do want to read the notes with put I actually went through them all on stream and talked about each of the, those bullet points so if you want to look at the VOD I explain more about those as well then um, but if you want to read them properly because I don't know if it's big enough for you guys to read on stream then just feel free to go on the website and have a read and as as well if there's anything that needs a reword feel free to let me know because we I don't want any misunderstandings so hopefully that's all clear everything that's in there I spent a bit of time yesterday writing them up so okay and other than that yep goal is to um, be perfecting the content we've done so far so it's at the state for a first playable build um because it, it isn't right now everything's very messy and disconnected but we we've definitely got enough content for a trailer um so that's priority getting that ready but i have said as well that there might be a few streams in September where we do a bit of brainstorming about the new content. Um, I won't be implementing the new content anytime soon, by the way, because I want to make sure the first playable build content's polished first. But I'm definitely up for at least discussing it and talking about ideas. Um, and that would involve what happens in Main Quest 3 and like what's going to happen in that quest, what's going to be about as well as the side quests and NPC law and general law of the region and the area. So it'd be, we'd, we'd have a few black brainstorm sessions on how all that's going to work out and get some ideas in place to get excited about before we start actually adding them into the game. The actual adding into the game won't happen until the first playable builds out the way and all that stuff's been polished and stuff. But we'll definitely need a break from that sometimes and that'll be when we have the brainstorm streams. Um, well, that also makes sure that the folks who are really interested in your game and stick around have a better chance of gaining a PC, exactly. Um, and I think it's, there's something pretty fun about making something of super high raindrop requirement um because it's a challenge and there's something appealing about a challenge you know because right now a thousand raindrops isn't really that hard to get anymore i mean don't get me wrong it is if you're new to the stream um but it, it, it just you know lurking in streams for a few weeks you can be surprised how much you can gather up and uh, as the community grows the raindrop requirements will also grow but right now I think a thousand is did I say a hundred again instead of a thousand right now a thousand raindrops I think is the ideal amount for NPC at this point in time for our community but it doesn't mean that's going to be that way forever either if in the future we grow or you know more we get in more applications submissions in then that will also increase too um, but it's not going to happen yet for NPC it'll just be playable character that will have the increase when when it opens again in the new year um, yeah it isn't that hard and I do think that the thousand is low for a PC yeah because PC it's I mean it's no better than NPC in all honesty like NPCs in terms of value in some ways can be more more interesting as characters than pcs um i mean with that list of livelihoods we came up with we we've got some really unique ideas for you guys for for your npcs now um but what it is with, with playable couch they're just limited you know that there, there isn't going to be hundreds and hundreds in the game by the end there's only going to be 50 at most even 50 is pushing it that is still a lot but um valkyria chronicles had about 50 i think i'm not sure about chrono cross but i heard that had a lot as well and i think our game suits that the way we're going with this the playable the, the specialist classes for each person I think very much fits with having a very heavy populated party and a pick, party pick at all. I think that would be really fun in all honesty for our game so I'm very excited about having a lot of playable characters but I just don't think it's realistic to go beyond 50 um, and um, that it does need to trickle in slowly because they're not all going to be implemented even in the first 
two or three episodes will have only met less than 10 of you probably because they're, they're going to take time to implement those playable characters with the skill trees and that you know we're not going to meet all of them or even a large bunch of them in one go they'll they'll gradually enter our party as we travel throughout the world um and uh, honestly Eva can be really good but much of it depends on the writing and the in-depth thought into the character creation process as long as the character design is created to fit into walls yeah and that if you've looked fan I'm not sure if you have yet one of the bullet points I've put up is that um we have the right to adjust or reject the character I think I put if it clashes with the law character or story that has already been established um so you know um luckily we haven't come across that with any submissions yet but as time goes on who knows but i'm sure a lot of you here those of you that are interested in being a character you'd read the law bible anyway you know we're all nerds here we love writing and stories and most people have the common sense to make something work and fit um, that's the sort of um, like community we are here. No, no, nobody here is like a dude bro who doesn't have a clue about stories. Because honestly, I don't think dude bros and people like that would even like the stream. Because we're all just a bunch of nerds. <laughs> You've already got enough work built in this. Yeah, good, good. Because you don't need the extra work trying to mal character histories into the world. Yeah. For sure and I'm I mean don't get me wrong I'm always I'm very interested in in fleshed out characters and I encourage that I've encouraged you guys to say you know flesh them out as little or as much as you want it's your choice if you want to keep them um, you know sh short and sweet profile that's fine too if you want to leave it up to us but don't be frightened of fleshing them out um because it's, uh, I'm, I think it's fascinating other people's ideas and stuff. But sometimes, who knows? Things might have to be adjusted if necessary. But we'll still try and stick to the vision. It's exciting, even so. Um, okay, so back to it. So yes, um, this is just our schedule for the next week. And once this is out of the way, once this trailer stuff is out of the way, um, that will mean we'll have put everything back together all the pieces for the the mapping and everything will be as it was before we did the map improvements so we can carry on where we left off we'll be able to um, polish the end of main quest too as we was doing before and uh, the streams from that point on will be a mixture of polishing for the first pebble build and brainstorming for the new content it'll probably I'll do whatever I feel like on that day or whatever I think would be cool to do. Um, but I'm definitely very excited about talking about the next section of the game. We've kind of discussed it briefly in past streams, so we have an idea. But we just need to flesh it out more and get that outline out and things. So um, at some point, Van, I'm going to catch up with you as well about things. Definitely before we have brainstorm streams in se September anyway so that we have we have got some idea about how things are going to go in regards to the outline okay back to tiled i shall be looking forward to it yeah me too i'm always very excited when it comes to new content and new quest ideas that is the exciting bit but you've got to be careful not to get carried away with it as a game dev because if you do too much new content and haven't tidied up the old content you'll never get anything finished you'll always have ideas but the old ones wouldn't have been polished and that's when things can get overwhelming so for sure i'm trying to make it a thing to make sure that main quest one and two so all the bits where we meet Rose, we have Fiona Buckington conversation, the Carol flashback, the fruit scene, um, the fruit boss battle, everything that has to be perfected completely. And I mean, it's we've d I've done a good job so far. It's there, but we need to make sure there's no weird bugs or 
any of any weird stuff going on and everything's polished and it'll be fun it'll be fun to actually have something playable as well i think that'll be an exciting time even if it's only main quest one and two it's still like a little demo of episode one and that that's fun I'm most, I'm personally super excited about side quest creation um, and that's going to have to be approached in a, in a sort of organised way so we don't get too carried away and go off track and off the plot. We want to try and have some rules in place with those, like themes and I, I guess I would have ideas, I'd have some ideas to start off with but you guys can help bounce off ideas off me to create something even more awesome I guess I think we could do something like that and we can come up with ideas and we might have to make a short list because we're not going to have to have a bazillion quests in episode what side quests in episode one obviously um, but I'd like at least somewhere between half a dozen and a dozen maybe I mean it's hard to give a number right now because if the side quests are as thick as the main quests have been so far, we might need less of them. Um, and I'd rather have something, I'd rather have few quests that are meaningful and memorable rather than loads of side quests that are really like just boring stuff that you see in any, any game that are uninspiring. I'd rather have fewer quality rather than quantity. Um, your accent reminds me of infomercials. Really? Does that mean I'm posh? Isn't isn't that posh if you're on infomercials? I'm wondering now. Because I don't think I'm posh at all. But thank you. I think that's a compliment. Welcome, drunk. How are you doing? Um, as long as the cat... Yeah, good, good, because I've already read that. But I'll show you. <laughs> Just wanted to make sure I haven't missed anything inside. Um, okay, so we've done the cliff rock bit, so should we do, I'm thinking should we do vines or shall we do flowers? Maybe do flowers. So let's save. So uh, this is what, I've kind of filled all the grass areas up with flowers, but to break it up I've stuck the odd bush in between or the odd tree stump. Um, even the odd little tray because it breaks things up a bit to do it that way um, thank you drunk raccoons for that follow as well i appreciate that we've only put one vine so far and that's that one there and that looks nice you're very posh you think Ava? I'm, I'm kind of flattered with that, but it surprises me because honestly, I'm growing up, we're to, our um, region in England are considered the commoners, the the uneducated commoners of the the country. <laughs> but there's a weird stereotype, and I don't agree with it because. Um, it's rude for a start to make fun of people's accents but it's our, our region in particular and it, it's um you know it, it's not it, we don't get complimented very much <laughs> at all when it comes to accents but surprisingly as soon as i've started streaming i get them all the time so um Flowers are nice, yeah the flowers are actually made by me i mean i did find an asset to make them from but I changed the flowers so drastically that it's kind of almost original art now those flowers are I'd say yeah the leaves are like yeah it was just a very heavily edited bunch of flowers that look very different from the original now um, but I like the colours on them and I think I like how I I sort of set these out so what you see here with the flowers the bushes and all this thing we're going to carry on that throughout all the rest of the forest too though in this section of the forest down here i might put a few different flowers down because uh, um 
the NPC Nigel Buckington mentions something about his sister coming down here because the flowers are the best in the forest. So we'll stick to that law and actually put some nice flowers down there as well. Hi Carlos Hans, how are you doing? The map is looking so good now, thank you. Um, we get in there, um, just flowers and vines now. I mean, we got some flowers there already, but we got to do it everywhere, that's the thing time consumingness um and then it's the vines but yes priority is getting this map 100 percent done there's a few sections where there's a few glitches that i've got to fix by the way but that's going to be the last job that i'm going to do last um and we've got map edges um because we originally these maps were all split into segments originally and that's the reason why we've got such sharp edges but the goal will be to fill the borders of these in eventually so that we don't see any weird grey stuff as we as a, us as the player walks um, but that'll be something we do after because we want to we don't want to put to do too much at once do we and eventually I'd love to fill in the other maps too I mean we've got a lot of space here to add other places as well to fill in the Everbloom Forest more but it'll all depend if it'll work with the content like if we um, have a side quest or something that'll take us to a new place then yeah we'll think about adding a new a new bit of map we'll say um, you have a New Zealand accent so I sound very casual oh are you from New Zealand then Trunk? Hi Angry Moose how are you doing? Is this Final Fantasy music? I remember Melody, not sure. Funny enough, Angry Moose, you're not the only one that's asked that question today. I've had um, asks about the songs a few times, which is a good thing because it means I'm playing awesome music in the background and you guys are intrigued by what's playing. So, but uh, yeah, I recently did add the title, just so you guys know, you know, I think it'd be cool that you guys know what's playing. Um, how are you doing there, Angry Moose? And it is Final Fantasy, yes. <laughs> Gotta have that Final Fantasy music. Um, how are you doing, Rex? I hope it works extremely well as well. And could always be... Could always... Players won't think about it much. What do you mean, Drunk Reckons? I've completely lost track of what we were talking about. I'm trying to remember the context of what was said because sometimes that happens a lot. I'm like, hang on, what, what are they talking about? I forgot what I was talking about or what my question was. And I have to ask again what it's about. The outside areas you said to fill in. Oh, yeah. You mean make it black? I mean, it's true the players won't think about it too much, but I'm a perfectionist, guys. I'm, I'm not expecting any crap for a game. But the reason why I'm doing the map improvements, in all honesty, was so we could go all out with our map and make be more ambitious than we were at the start. Because I found out that RPG Maker was kind of very... Um, limited in regards to big maps and you couldn't do like non fade like the fade outs when moving between maps you, you you couldn't have a it's hard to explain but you can only have a fade to black or fade to white if that makes sense and i really wanted um it to be seamless like to go from map to map without the fade out and although RPG Maker does do it and it allows a non fade out thing there's still like a weird jitter in the engine that I wasn't fond of um, so that's really one of the main reasons I did switch to tiled so I could have that seamless transition um, because we can have larger maps that way um, it's very complicated, but it is working out so far, so it's all good. Um, and hi, Vagabond, how you do? It's good to see you. C cute email, by the way. I'm trying to figure out what animal that is. It's a bird, isn't it? How adorable. <laughs> I'm doing well, glad to hear it. I hope it works being kind to you today, though, Rex. 
You could do it with no fade out if you make your maps properly and do no fade. It'll look pure seamless. Does that even does that work with parallax maps though? Because I, I'm not I'm not kidding you. I went really far with this. I spent a whole fortnight on the RPG Maker forms trying to fix it with about two or three other people. I even went as far as DMing one of them to ask if they'd made it work because I saw this this person really desperate for it to get it to work and they were having no luck. And and this post was back in 2016, I think. So I. I, w I didn't think I was going to get a response, but I did, and I and they said that I, four years later they still hadn't got it working. So I was like, screw this! I'm going to just uh, do it entitled then, because um, uh, yeah, I spent a lot of time researching, and maybe there is a way to do an RPG maker, but it, I, I wasn't getting much luck with it with the parallax maps anyway, because there were parallax maps they've got a load in, they're pretty big, aren't they? And uh, with tiles, it just seems like it works better. Only, I only work with palettes. You essentially have to fake duplicate sections of the maps within each other. Oh, so you're using hacks to do it. Interesting. There's always a way around things, isn't there? Sometimes you've got to just figure out a good hack for it. There's also some optimization scripts, DLLs, you can use to improve performance of a Parallax. Yeah, I think I had that one actually. Um, it's, uh, I tried that out and it did work somewhat, but not completely. That's some smart hacks, yeah. I, um, yeah, it took me a couple of weeks of research and eventually I got impatient and I thought, yeah, I'm gonna try another method. And maybe if I stuck to it a bit longer, I could have figured something out, like you say, Vagabond. But yeah, I'd kind of uh, decided that Tiled had answered all my problems. So luckily Tiled exists, otherwise I would have had to have done it another way. Probably the way you're saying. Um, I got a big citywide parallax with a lot of moving objects in my game, cars, NPCs, birds, etc. And it all runs pretty well, but it takes some script slapping. I bet, I bet it's not easy for sure so um i mean i'm learning as i go i'm uh, definitely prob like nowhere near your level of experience so but you you only learn by doing it right also i can't believe how quick the stream's gone how is it already like 15 minutes till the end of the stream. Pick up a code book from Poundland. <laughs> like the tile, look for this game, it's cute. Thank you, Vagabond, I appreciate kind words. I try my best. I try my best. Time flies when you're having fun. It does. I'm not, I'm, streams always go really fast for me. Um, all the time. 15 minutes to enter yours, 15 minutes to start of mine, yeah. Six o'clock. It's a good time to stream six o'clock is. I always have my dinner at that time, so it's it's always been a difficult one for me to do evening streams because I tend to get preoccupied with stuff in the evening after my dinner. Um, the secret of mana vibe. Oh, what's the secret of Mana Vibe? It's 1 pm here, EST. Yeah, so really it's afternoons for you. I like I like doing afternoon streams. No idea if that would be something I do forever, but right now this schedule works cool for me. Um while I'm living here. And uh your ma oh really? I was I thought I thought you meant that drunk raccoons. I just wanted to clarify, but that's a, that's a good thing because that's a good game. That's a good RPG. Um, right, so yeah, we got I've got a job. I've got a bit of a job to do, haven't I, guys? I've got to fill all these maps up with flowers, um, and I'm going to be spending some time doing that off stream. The goal is to get it done for Friday's stream, so we can move on to other stuff. Because I made a plan here, guys. 
um, of what we're going to be focusing on. And the reason why I'm being so uh, strict about it and with a plan, I don't tend to usually plan so rigidly. I like to take streams as I go and just go with the flow. But I'm trying to meet a deadline for the 25th of August. I want to get a trailer done for a uh, really cool thing. I, 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 I think it looks pretty cool. It's called Picture Game. So um, I'm gonna I'm gonna do a trailer, guys, for the first playable build. So that'll be fun because we don't have one yet. The best trailer we have so far is the the first story so far video, and that's not a proper trailer. That's just a narration. And we're still, of course, going to do story so far. So that's going to be a constant thing we always do with every story update. Um, but it'd be really cool to have something that is more trailer, like a typical trailer, I think. Um, hi, Muffin, how you doing? It's so good to see you. I hope you're having a wonderful Wednesday. Oh, wow, it's 6 p.m. over there. It's still morning for me, yeah. We, we're in the future here, where I live. Are you jelly? You jealous? Yeah, I have a lot of people out across the pond in my streams, which is awesome. I like you guys. You're cool. <laughs> Gonna be quiet for now, but I'll be here after. Oh, well, thank you for the alert, Muffin. I appreciate that. You have a good one. You jelly, <laughs> yeah. And yeah, picture game is right. Oh, have you done it before, Vagabond? Yeah, I found it. I was I was doing a screenshot Saturday and I was kind of looking through other people's screenshot Saturdays and I saw someone use this hashtag and I was like, what's that? And I looked into it and I saw they had a website and I was like, wow, this is really, really cool because they've gone all out with it. They, um, let's get the website up actually. Because this is a really cool thing for anyone who's doing an indie game, in all honesty. So, um... Yeah, there's like a website and everything, so... Let me get it up. Here we go. Yeah, so it's five days now. That's why I've get, got all plenty and trying to make sure that the maps are all improved and that by the time that it comes out. So street, the next three streams before this deadline will be about um, getting everything polished and ready for this trainer. So it'll be tidying up the tiles, um, making sure the scenes are working and nice and smooth and everything looks good really and works well. Um, and because we're planning on getting our first playable build done anyway, it's a win-win because that's what we'd be doing anyway, making sure everything's polished. So, um, and I've never done one, but I know my publisher friends monitor that heavily. Oh, cool. And what is that website? I'll give it you guys. So I'm really glad I found this because it was completely random. I was just looking through Twitter and I found it and um, I was like, yeah, I'm going to do this. So um, it's a hashtag that you use on a certain day and that will be in five days time, the 25th of August. And um, I believe folks look through the hashtag on that day and see what gets posted and anything that looks cool, obviously, will get a little bit of exposure and I think that's a really cool thing for for indies considering nobody knows about our game so yeah it's a really nice thing a really cool thing that's been set up there um gotta bounce and start the stream machine R rain gang take care back on I love the name rain gang it, it just has a really good ring to it so I'm really glad that you used that but take care and I hope you stream goes well as well have an awesome day and um, yeah, feel free to have a look through the the uh, website, guys. There's a lot of info on here about how it works. If you're curious, um, so I I decided, you know, for our first submission, this is something that happens every month. But for our first one, um, to, it'd be really nice to have a video because I think that sort of thing work is even better than images, you know, or links. Um, it just grabs more attention, doesn't it? So that's why I uh, 
bullet pointed some content that we could show off um, but I'd like not only to show cl these clips in particular but put text in between the clips but I can't think of what text could go in I suppose we could just describe the features like we could say you've custom hero creator like we gotta make it sound super cool and fancy guys that's the thing we gotta make it sound really cool and then we could we gotta probably mention carol the barrel <laughs> um definitely the thing about the fact that you can treat npcs differently and get choices and consequences i think that'd be a cool thing to say and then show the clip of pushing fiona in the like with the choices that i think that'd be something to put um and the fruits and the barrels i guess we had like the cast of like quirky characters i suppose that's something we could say um so we just it's just thinking really the key things to mention about the game but it's not even just about the game this is like a community project where people can uh, get involved as well and I think that should be made maybe said as well um that will really help yay and problem is it's always raining you don't get the rainbow if it's sunny you get the rainbow I don't know we're a rainbow in this stream because we brighten up everybody's day That would be more fitting if I was talking about the sun. <laughs> but we colourful, like rainbows. Yeah, I think the community aspect is one of the most unique things about it. It is. I mean, we want the game to be awesome as well. But I think it's definitely as well a standout thing that um, it's a community thing. Um, I mean, the trailer itself, I think, is going to be more focused on the game and the content of the game rather than the fact the community aspect um, because you know I already made a trailer that talks about the community aspect the one I've got on my pinned tweet and the channel trailer at the moment um, there's already a trailer for that so I can always link them to that trailer too but in all honesty I don't want to I, I feel like yeah I don't know if I should make that the trailer for the pitch because I've already shown that off enough and it's nice to make new videos and new content um a sunny rain so yeah the um but the the um, website itself does say that you can um add links to um the tweet so I'd link them to the website for sure because the website really uh kind of explains a lot of stuff and especially about the fact you can create your own character that's all on the website too as well as the law bible so i'd probably make the, the website focus of the tweet as well but if anybody does have any ideas feel free to like the, let me know even if it's off stream if there's anything that really stands out to you like even if it's like a particular line of sentence that we could say about our project um i'm gonna do a trivia in a sec guys before we end the stream today as well because uh i think we should so be prepared guys so you can answer the question I've got a rumbly tummy I have and I don't know what my dinner is today so yeah I'm kind of uh I'm not going to get into putting the flowers on tiled now because we're getting towards the end of stream and that sort of thing I've got to get into the groove of doing so I'm not going to start now but I will get it all filled up by next stream so we can move on to the next stage of the getting the mapping done um so i'm probably going to play some music in the background and do that 
tomorrow <laughs> so I don't get bored because it can get a bit monotonous putting nothing but flowers down um, me too I need to have some lunch yay so what do you guys think about the picture game do you think it's cool I'm glad I found it okay guys so I'm going to put trivia in exclamation mark trivia what cast can you choose between for your hero oh my god it likes this question doesn't it <laughs> Warren Hunter, oh my goodness, Kunk. Well done, because you put and there as well, I and mean, that would have taken extra time to type. GG Kunk, it was very close though between you and Van. Um, woo! See, you are quick, Kunk. You did it. What have I done? I'm sorry. <laughs> That's habit. That's habit. <laughs> That's because Vanna's got so many questions, right? That I'm so used to doing that. It's like second nature now. I'm going to fix it. Don't worry, guys. There's no way I'm going to have it be wrong. It's got to be right. <laughs> Come get us to get the points. So let's do that again. <laughs> what an epic fail. <laughs> Rigged. Kung, there you go. There you go, Kung. Now, can we get rid of points? Let's see if we can because I've never done this before. So, can we do minus points? I'll never get away with rigging things because you guys will always know because the evidence is on stream. So, I'm going to put minus one. Yay, it worked! <laughs> there we go. Fixed. Well, we know who the favourite is. Nobody's favourites. <laughs> uh, okay, so... Um, but, Callus Rex, you know you're my favourite, you silly billy. Only because he's my SO, of course. It'd be a bit bad if he wasn't my favourite. <laughs> Okay, so just answer them a lot. Yeah, <laughs> Van just loves our lore and story, and you know that makes me happy because I I want you guys to like the lore and the story so much. Okay, guys. So thanks for hanging out, guys. But don't go anywhere though because I want to um. I at least want to pass the love to somebody. So as always, super appreciate if you come along and say hi um join in with the raid that'd be fantastic so i'm gonna just stick to, yeah i've got tiled up so um because i don't want to show off my follow list or anything on the stream because the streamers need their privacy um so yeah stare at the map while we're looking here's online yay so yeah guys feel free to come say hi uh okay whoa there's a ton of people online today My goodness, May. Okay, so I'm trying to figure out, and you can tell me, guys, what we should do here. I'm trying to think, shall we raid someone different that we haven't raided before? Shall we raid a friend of ours? You pick chat. Because I'm up for whatever. I sometimes like raiding friends that we often raid, and I sometimes like going into a new community as well. So, um, chat, Sally, tell me what to do, and we'll do whatever people think. New people are always fun. So, Zavis is new person. What? Anybody else want to have a say? We'll go for the majority. They are like, what's happening? <laughs> Someone new. Yeah. 
Some, someone needs always an interesting one. Um, new person. Okay, guys. Well, it seems like everybody wants to do that then. Okay, so I'm going to go to someone I'm following, but someone we've never raided before. Because I, I, I'm too shy to go to a person I don't know altogether. <laughs> Sometimes I do it, but... Um, okay, so this guy is playing The Walking Dead, which is a good game. Um, type in Twitch to rate that channel. Imagine if someone had that name. How funny would that be? Okay, so we, we're going to raid this guy called Ryan. He's, he's super cool and geeky. Um, and he's playing The Walking Dead, so... I'll see you guys on Friday. Take care. Have an awesome day. Thank you for being awesome, for being so chatty. I appreciate your autumns.